Hey guys, it's Hero Hunter here. Welcome back to the MCSMP. Uh, season 1, I guess you could say. I haven't really said there's seasons, but I'm guessing there might be. So, I found, in between episodes, we found a zombie spawner. Sorry if they're really loud. But it's in there. And if you jump down... I kill him with stone swords because I don't like to waste my diamond one. Since I'm trying to get levels to enchant my diamond one. It's not like the best mob farm I could ever make, but I think it's a pretty good mob farm. We do occasionally get some stuff. One of the first few zombies I killed had dropped an iron. That's all from when I was making the farm. But my base, why the episode is titled this is because my base, I'm like, I like it. I'm sticking. I kind of want to stick with it. But I feel like it's not, like, big enough. It's not, like, a big enough base, I feel like. It's not, like, a mega base. For a mega base, it's not very mega. So, I need, like, a better ideas. So, if you have any ideas, in, put in the comments down your mega base ideas. And I have a few ideas, but I don't know if there's the best ideas. So... I'm kind of just, ne yeah, like, I'll choose one out of the comments and give you a shout-out for the idea in my next video. But for now, I think I'm kind of going to go up and down, wait for zombies to spawn, then head down, whack them to death. <laughs> so I think I'm kind of just going to, like, do that while uh, I wait till I get to level 30, so then I can go enchant i might want a little more than level 30 so i can enchant like two or three level 30 enchants on books and then i can hopefully put those on my diamond sword and maybe just enchant my sword so then that'll get me back hopefully back up to have a good sword again since i did lose that when i died my armor when i died though my armor was all in my ender chest same with my pickaxe so that's good, but I'm still not kind. I'm still kind of not wearing it because it's low on durability. But how I died, I didn't. Don't think I actually said in the last video. I died when I was going through the Nether portal to get soul sand. I was going through the Nether portal, and I went through. And there's a creeper on the other side. So before I loaded in to the Nether, the creeper blew up exploded me so I died and then it exploded the portal too so now when I go through the nether then there's a new portal that comes out somewhere else so I couldn't get my I could not get my stuff back since we have a new portal now and now we don't know where the nether fortress is too so that's kind of annoying but I think like I said a minute ago, for now I'm going to AFK here for some zombies, and I'll be right back. So I've decided to turn this into a drowned farm by putting water on it. So, since on the version of Minecraft I play, when you drown zombies to make them drowned, they will still drop tridents, so it'll still be like an XP farm, but at the same time, I can get tridents out of it, so... I'm gonna light up the spawner so I don't so nothing spawns while I'm doing this. Since I have to get into the little tube, I guess you could say. Like I'll kill off those. And then Wait, this is gonna be hard. Cause if I put that there, that there, that's how it is. So let me get rid of that gravel. Put it right there. And then quickly patch that up. So I think that's all. Maybe I'll put it one higher just in case. Because I don't really know. Oh, and then I think... No, I can't waterlog that, so they should become drowns now when 
they drop down. It'll take a minute, then they will be drowned, and then they have the potential to drop a trident. So then it'll still work as an XP farm, but at the same time, then it'll also get me tridents. So a couple spawned in right there, right as I broke the torches. Let me drop down and see. So they come down. Oh, but that prevents them from taking fall damage. So it'll be harder to kill them. I believe it takes time for them to become drowns. Oh, so th I think that's water good is good. They're still. So I'm going to give it some time. Then I'll come back and tell you if this works, because it might not work. Okay, so I just saw them turn into drowns. So now they're full health, so it'll be harder to kill them. But look, one there dropped a Nautilus shell, which means they're, they will also have a chance to drop tridents. Now, that didn't take too long for them to become drowns. For them to become drowns, it took about took about 15 20 seconds maybe a little bit longer but not too long so i think i'm gonna sit up here afk i'll still be grinding levels and potentially get some tridents i think i'll check back if i get any tridents so i just i was just shopping and i saw this trident pop on so apparently the trident does work i can get tridents from this uh, I think I'm going to save up to have like two or three so I can combine them, repair them, then enchant them. But I am level 25. I think I'm going to grind some more. I think I'm going to grind some more um, to get more levels and then enchant. And y Yaks messaged me earlier and said he wanted me to come over to his base and check it out. So I think I'll do that later, but for now I think I'm just going to Wait till I get a little bit over thir uh, 30 levels so I can enchant some books, potentially enchant some tridents, and once I get 30 levels, I'll be back. Okay, so I've kind of been grinding. It's kind of taking a while to get to level 30. As you can see, I'm only level 27. I only got one trident, which is the one that I showed, because it turns out they're pretty rare to get from drowns i mean i knew they were but they're pretty rare so i don't know how many i'll get but i guess as i kind of use that farm oh phantoms as i kind of use that farm i will get them i guess but ooh, bones are always helpful but <laughs> But for now, I think I want to tell you we have a res several resource packs on this realm. Oh, I'm gonna kill off these. No, these phantoms hurt. Let me get inside, and I gotta eat. I think I'm gonna have to run inside real quick, and then I'll talk about the resource packs. Okay, so it's kind of hard to talk about them now since I'm inside. Oh, there's phantoms right outside. But we have a resource pack on that makes the moon and sun. Okay, so Yax just told me we could go to bed. So I have a resource pack on here that allows the sun and moon to like look more realistic and stuff. And now the phantoms should be burning. Oh no, they're under my house. Maybe. One's burning, the other one's stuck. Can I put you out of your misery? Phantom. I'm gonna stack up there and put him out of his misery. Oh, and he flew away. Well, so the resource packs. Oh, do I have another pickaxe? I don't. I'll get that down in a minute. But like the sun looks actually like it's actually round and very bright. And then the moon looks really very realistic. I don't know if you saw it when I was just running back and the phantoms attacked me. But also we have a res that same resource pack. It changes water like the tiniest bit like how it looks. Just the tiniest bit though. So I don't think it's really noticeable. And then we have a resource pack on that adds lower shield. As you can see, my shield's like tiny in the corner. 
Uh, it is a little bit messed up in my inventory, and in third person it looks a little long, but I take it off for some of my intros. I mean, I didn't for this intro, but <laughs> for some of my intros I take it off, so I think it's fine. I think I'm going to go get a pickaxe and take that down. I don't know why I don't have a pickaxe. I think mine broke. So, and then I think I might epi end the episode there. It's not very long, but I think I will end the episode there as me, like, as me going, showing Gax's base, um, doing a little work with the spawner, and then maybe I will, I don't know, end the episode, I guess. <laughs> so, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like subscribe and remember to drop your base of suggestions in the comments and that's all for me today bye